Okay. Can you see my screen now? It's clear. Okay. So in this time, you can see, I simply select my specific band of NWI. If you want, you can select this band with the same variable, or if you want, you can simply use the another way. So I also try to show you that. So for this, you need to simply take another variable. Suppose I simply take the variable name, you can use any variable name. So I simply take the variable is that you can use any, I simply use the variable name is the NDWI, okay? Then I simply call the data set, okay? Then I simply paste here and then use here the simply use here the select. Then I simply put here my NDWI, okay? So this is the same way. If you want, you can use the simply, use the same uh, uh, variable for selecting your data or if you want to take the another variable NDWI, then simply call the previous variable and use here the dot notation and then simply use here the select, okay? So you can use any one, no problem, okay? In this time, I simply select my uh, band and then um, I also need to calculate it. I want to need to the calculate it between this time period. I want to calculate it the average NDWI and this is the every eight day. We can get the data, average data every eight days interval, okay? So I simply take a variable and give the variable name is the mean NDWI, okay? I can give the variable name mean NDWI. In this time here, you can see, this is my NDWI. I simply call the NDWI and paste here. After this, I want to calculate the average NDWI, okay? So I simply use a function, this is called the reduce function. It is an statistical function. I want to reduce as it, I want to calculate the average. I simply use the reducer, reducer dot mean. Okay, so now it calculated the FRS NDWI result. Okay, so in this time, I want to show the result. I simply use the map dot add clear and then simply call the mean NDWI and paste here after this click to the run. So now we can get the result as a ash color map because I did not add any visualization. I can get the result for the whole world. Okay, you can see this data set represented the whole world in DWI between this time period. Okay. In this time, I want to add here the visualization parameter. They are already provide their default NDWI variable. Uh, you can see already provide the, I simply copy and this data set already reprojected. You can see, I simply copy this data set and just paste here, paste in my code editor. And then I simply copy the visualization variable name. After this, after the object name, I simply paste here. Then click to the run. So now I can get the visualization with the NDWI data for the year of 2017. Okay. So here you can see I can get the data from here. Okay. This is a total average result of the NDWI between this time period. Okay. In this time, I want to need the data for only for my own region. Suppose I need the data for the India or country boundary of Bangladesh. Okay. So then you need to simply import your shape file. We already know about the shape file. So I simply import the shape file here. You can see. Okay. So I import my own shape file. Suppose I want to import the shape file for Bangladesh from here. Okay, I simply import the shape file of Dhaka city. Wait a minute. So, where are we? Not Dhaka district. Okay. And give the variable name is the, as a default, I simply use the ry. Okay. Then you can, in this time, I want to need to the clip. If you want, you can simply use here the clip function. Okay. Then use here the ROI. Okay. It's also okay. But if you want, you can also take the another variable. Suppose I take the variable as a study area. And then I simply use here the mean NDWI. I simply call the mean NDWI. Then paste here. Then you simply use here the dot notation and use here the clip function. Clip with um, ROI. I simply put here the ROI. Okay. Then in this time, I also need to change the study area instead of the mean NDWI because this is my final object. Okay. 
and then I also want to focus in this time when I run this code, you can see it will be showing as a layer, but it will be not focus my shape file. Okay. It will not focus my shape file of Dhaka district. So that's why I also want to add here the function map dot center object. And in this time, my object name is that um, you can see this is the ROI. I simply put at the ROI and zoom level is the is at the 10 and then click to the run before on complete remove. Simply remove it and then click to the run. So now you can see here it will be showing the our NDWI data between this time period uh year of 2017 okay i can get the data so now you can easily make the time series chart we can get the time series chart every eight day interval okay for the it, it will be start from the uh, year of 2017 first january then i can get the second data 8 january like this okay every eight day interval i can get the data okay between this time period okay we can easily make the time series chart this is the same process we can easily export this map as a tip format this is also same process then we can easily make the map in my arc map software this is also same process we already cover all of the details so now you can just practice and when you can practice then face any problem just let me know then i will help you okay no problem but in this time all of the will be same and in this time when you want to work with the lancet ndvi this is the same process okay any question in this time, you can ask me. Any question, anyone? Any question? Okay. So in this time, I can try to show you that this is the ready-made data. I will try to use the ready-made data. But if you want, you can also make the NDVI map or NDWI map using the satellite imagery. Suppose I want to down uh, use the Landsat image for making the NDVI map. Then we can just we can use the formula for the NDVI near infrared band subtract with the red band divided by near plus red band. Then we can calculate the NDVI. Okay. So we also cover this part our next class so that we can also try to show how we can do this. Okay. So in this time I will try to show you the ready metal data set. Okay. So I hope you can easily understand any question this time you can ask me. Any question or any doubt? Okay. So in this time, I simply go to my next slide. So in this time, I will try to discuss about the some my research work as well as some project work, which I already done using the Google Earth Engine platform. So that's why uh, you can also get the idea about the platform, how, uh, what you can do. Okay. So you can easily understand. So first of all, you can see, this is the web application of the over time period of uh, NDVI for the Bangladesh. We can easily observe the NDVI condition of the NDVI or uh, any place in the Bangladesh. Just we can click on this map, then we can get the result. Okay get the time series chart and anyone can access this application from the link so this is the link so anyone can easily access the application from the link and get the output okay so this is the another application for the modis lifria index so in this time it represented the lifria index here we is the modis data and anyone can use this data uh, application from the link okay this is the web application link and this is the another for the you can see this is the trend analysis okay so we can easily make the trend analysis uh this ndvi is the high or low what is the condition of the ndvi we can easily make the another chart it's called the trend chart okay we can easily do it using this platform and i also do you can see and i also make the web application using this uh trend analysis of the chart so here you can see this is the web application link anyone can access the link and get the data and get the what is the condition of the ndvi of any place okay just click on the map then you can get the result okay this end division is high or low we can easily determine then this is the another tax for the bangladesh precipitation measurement map so in this time we can also do in here the charts data for making the precipitation map okay so uh year of 2020 using the google earth engine platform then this is the another tax for the land surface temperature monitoring so mainly in this time here we can use the land set image for um, making the land surface temperature map okay land set image so mainly we can cal cal uh, use the modis modis data set and modis is that uh, is a 
ready-made data set, but land set, we need to learn here, uh, take the different type of algorithm for making the land set data set when you want to make the land surface temperature monitoring, okay? Mm. This is another tax for the whole land cover classification map of Bangladesh. So you can see this is the also web application. You can easily access the link and get the better view of this map. So this is the another tax for the assessment of the plant health status. So mainly in this time here, I use the NDVI using the Google Earth Engine platform for the whole country boundary of Bangladesh. And this is the another things for the water quality analysis of Hathirji Lake. So mainly in this time, you can see also this is the uh, algorithm. So mainly in this time here, I want to show the change in turbidity. What is the turbidity? Uh, change and then we can easily have the high turbidity it means that this water is the polluted or uh, then we also low turbidity it means that there, there is the water is normal okay so we also you can use the um, ndti uh, using the water quality monitoring using the google earth engine platform okay for the hatirji lake in dhaka city okay so this is the another tax for the concentration of the air quality monitoring between the two time period okay so here you can see and i also covered this part the tomorrow for the air quality session so when i want to work with the air quality monitoring just i will try to show you that how you can make the air quality map and how we can easily make the concentration map of the nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide and same all of the things will be same okay so this is the another tax for the crop plant classification suppose non pro plant also you can see non pro plant irrigation minor also you can see non pro plant irrigation major okay fragments or you can already classify all of the things from here using the multi uh, google earth engine platform this is the another tax for the flood mapping so mainly in this time here i use the ndwi technique so this is the another tax for the light night light map of bangladesh so in this time here you can see the night time what is the condition of the activity so it, this map represented the activities of the night time so here you can see this is the capital of bangladesh or also you can see the major city you can see there is the light okay but when you move to the forest area you can see this is the uh, uh, mangrove forest also you can see some the hill track area also you can see some the forest uh, there is the no light okay also you can see this is the river there is a some there is the no light okay it will be showing as a um black color so it represented the high color represented the activities night light activity of bangladesh okay and we can also do using the google earth engine platform and this is another tax for the change the turbidity uh change the trend of the forest gross primary production of the sundarban so this is the one the part of our research work so this is the map and i also make the all of the things using the google earth engine platform then i can just simply download the tp image and make the map using the arc map software okay so i already show you the process how we can make the arc map software for making the uh, map using the tp image and this is the another things for the relationship between the LST and DVI and NDPA. So this is our another tax for the another research paper. So we already make the map using the Google Earth Engine platform. And then we can just uh, download the TP image and make, make the map using the ArcMap software. Okay. So this is the another tax for the detecting the wolf fire in California between this time period. So mainly you can see this is the fire. We can easily observe the uh, identify or detecting the fire condition using the Google Earth Engine platform. And this is the web application link. So you can easily go to this link and get the better view of the fire condition. So this is the another tax for the growth monitoring using the standard visualization index SVI for Bangladesh region. So mainly we can get the oh, what is the condition of the ND, uh, growth using the SVI or SVI uh, standard visualization index we can use here. So this is the web application link. We can easily go to this link and check the growth condition of your place in Bangladesh. So this is another tax for the spectral and mixing model. So mainly in this time here, I use the linear spectral model, linear um, spectral mixing model. So this is the, when we classified the bare land vegetation and water using this model, okay? So this is another Tassunu cover map of Iceland year of 2018. This is Sunu cover map. We can also produce the Google Earth Engine platform. This is the another for the land cover classification map of the Hobbigans distinct. This is our another research work. So mainly we can use here the ground root data for identify the water body, forest, fallow land, crop, settlement, homestead. In this time here we use the ground root data, then we can easily make the map and also calculate the area we can see. And as a uh, how many water body, how many forest area, how many fallow land, how many crop land, how many settlement, how many homestead will be available in this region. We can also calculate it using the chart, okay? Um, so this is the another tax for the Punjab. So mainly in this time where we can classify the uh, different types of crop, 
suppose rice, cotton, food, or my sugar can wheat. Okay, so you can easily uh, when you want to make the crop classification map, you must be need the ground truth data. Otherwise, it's not possible. Okay, so uh, uh, first of all, you can get the ground truth data, then you can easily make the uh, rice uh, crop classification map for the Punjab. And this is the another tax or research work from our the concentration of the air quality monitoring. So mainly in Dhaka um, district, what is the condition in the uh, nitrogen dioxide concentration in the lockdown, pre-lockdown and post-lockdown and the COVID situation. We can also do our another research work. This is the Dhaka city mapping. So this is the another for the Bhashan chart. This is our another research work for the classification for the Bhashan chart of Bangladesh. So after uh, set up the Rohingya camp there, we cannot see the uh, settlement. Otherwise, there is the lot of, you can see, will be uh, increase, uh, decrease the visitation. Okay. And uh, after set up the, uh, Rohingya camp, we can see the some settlement. And also you can see this is the elevation map of Bangladesh. So here you can only see the elevation uh, or hill track area, some in the uh, program hill track area. Okay. Okay. So this, it means the elevation map. We can also use here the NASA SRTM data set for making this map. And uh, we can do all of the things using Google Earth Engine platform. Then we can simply download uh, this data as a TIFF format and work with the ArcMap software for making the map layout. Okay. So this is the another tax for the PC, uh, average precipitation map. We also do in, in you can see. Uh, so this is the another tax for the land surface temperature classification map. So we can uh, low, sub low, sub high. We can classify the two year. So this is another research work. So this is the another things for the uh, condition of the NDVI uh, set up in the Rohingya camp. Uh, year of in 2017 and uh, year of 2015. So what is the condition between the two region? for the setup in the uh, Rohingya camp, okay? So this is the, so, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for watching. So any question in this time, you can ask me. And our today's session is the, today is over. We can also start our session the tomorrow next day at the same time. And tomorrow we also try to discuss about the land cover classification. Also try to discuss about the air quality monitoring. Also try to discuss about the, uh, image calculation using the different types of band and calculated the NDVI or other indices. So if you have any question, you can ask me. Anyone, any question or any doubt? And I also send you all of the uh, video recorded session and uh, practice code so that you can also practice so that you can easily understand and face any problem anytime, then just contact with me. I also try to help you, no problem. Any question, anyone? Okay. Anyone, any question? Otherwise, our today's session is in. And we also try to join the same time tomorrow. And uh, okay. So, any question? Okay. So, today is no more. So, we'll meet the tomorrow. Okay. So, good night, everyone. Okay. Take care. Okay. Good night. Okay. Okay. Bye.